Alright, check it out. Wait for it. Boom. I got the answer to the problem the other day. It uh on one of my videos, uh, I explained that I can, you know, will G Streamer work with the Raspberry Pi AI camera, which is running on a uh, serial interface, CSI, a camera serial interface? And yes, it will work. And yes, you can get a video stream through it um, by using a G Streamer pipeline. And I'm going to show you how you do that. So let's go. So here's what I'm doing. So on the very first line, I'm using Shebang user bin ENV Python 3. Line 3, I import the sys for Python and I'm in, importing the time module. I import CV2, and I'm in, importing G for the G streamer. So one thing you need to do is definitely follow along with what I'm telling you. Um, if you don't, it won't work. So you have to take the um, each one of the G, uh, objects, the glib, the G, G object, and the GST, you have to require the versions first. So just uh, stop the video, take a look at that, and put those in as is. And then down here, after you require the version, then what you do is you bring those in. So you import those from the repository, so you're importing GST, and the G object and the G lib. Now we have to initialize the uh, uh, GST, G streamer. So we need to do that. And this right here shows you that we're initializing it and we're putting in sys.argv. This is a list and it's an empty list. And because when you fire up this module, um, this script, I mean, the, the name of my script is basic.gst.tut.py. And if I were to put a zero like here on this line here, go ahead and try it yourself. I'm not gonna do it here right now, but um, go ahead and copy this line. If you wanna um, comment that out, just put a, a hash sign right there and it won't print out. But I'm gonna go ahead and print that out for you when I get this thing going. And then um, I'm also printing out the G Stringer, G, 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 G Streamer version. And, uh, excuse me, my mouth is dry here. Hold on. So, I'm printing out the version of the G streamer. And then down here, so here's where everything kind of fell apart. In the last video, I was trying to get it to work, and this was the, the bottleneck here. I just couldn't figure out what to put in for the open CV, the uh, video capture class. And it tells you in certain situations, what you're going to do is you're going to put a, a numerical value there, which is going to be zero. For instance, that would be this, the assignment of your um, uh, video uh, camera. But you don't do that. This is asking you for a string and a string only. You don't even want to put in the uh, CV2 dot cap underscore G streamer um, as a second argument down here. Um, you don't want to put it in there. All this needs is a string. And the string is actually the pipeline, um, the G, the pipeline for G streamer. Okay. So what I did here is I'm using lib camera source and this is the source. This is the primary source. This is where uh, you're doing all your production, your video capture. And I put in camera hyphen name. Uh, these are key value pairs right here. So here's a assignment operator. So you have basically camera name and then equals. And then I went into my camera and you can do the same thing with the AI camera. You can run it and then um, the way I got this was uh, I waited till I got a uh, uh, error message. And what you need to do, go to uh, forward slash base, forward slash AXI, and then the value PCIE at, that may be the same or it may be different. And then RP1 right here is the, um, that is the, the south bridge on the, uh, the the module five uh, and that does all the processing io processing on the module and that's connected to a, with a pci that uh flexible um uh printed uh cable that runs from a hat because i have a hat on the top and then i have the module on the bottom and i have pcie cable connected um ribbon strip 
And then right here, that might be a little different. So what I'm trying to tell you is actually go in there and get this value and put this value in here, okay? So you're gonna need that. And as you can see right here, um, this is a concatenation for Python. So I put a plus there because this string would have been you know, like way over to the right. So you do not, if you're gonna write this all out, just remove the plus and then remove this this right here, the double quotes. But in order to make this a multi-line, I needed to actually put a quote mark here. And then I had to put the concatenation plus mark here. If you're writing this all out in one single line, just go ahead and remove the, the quote and the plus sign on each one of these lines right here until you get down to the very bottom line right there and that you want a, um, you want to open a bracket and then you want a closing bracket right there, okay? So parentheses, or yeah, bracket, um, curve bracket. And so that's the camera name and then down here you want to use the X, exclamation mark okay so in gstreamer you're using these things called elements okay and each element um has a source and it has a sink and on um, so when you're using the source which is the camera itself in the beginning that's the very first one this is a source and all it has is a source there's no sink on it and this is your your producer your output and it's going downstream and it's going to end up all the way down here to your sink and you have one sink in a pipeline and that's the end that's where you want everything to go so i'm using app sync as you can see right there okay so in here i use the video convert and then an exclamation and then a q right here and then an exclamation and then this is very important use video forward slash x and then hyphen, or uh, 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 yeah, hyphen, and then raw, okay? Um, can't use V4L2, you can't use H264, uh, you can't use bare, you have to use the X hyphen raw. And then put a comma, and you'll notice that right here, here's a hyphen between these two, el this element, the Q element. And so now what I'm doing is I'm putting in this element here and then i'm putting in some properties of this element which is um right here which is the video x raw so you want to put a comma there and don't forget the commas and then pixel aspect ratio equals fraction and then one divided by one usually a square frame in the pixel um is is an even number and i found out that it does work you can change this and you'll get some funky output but i went ahead and put that in to have control and then down here the format is yu y2 um, you can try using um, rgb in there it might or may not work and then here i just put width equals 640 comma height equals 640 comma and then this is important so that the uh, streaming of the camera um your setup with this pipeline i went ahead and, and uh, put some buffers in there you can play around with this you know put uh, num buffers equals 100 and then put num buffers equals one two three ten thousand let's see that would be one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So 10,000. So one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It doesn't matter. You can put a lot of zeros in there, but it really works well when I put one and the seven zeros. And then down here, I put the frame rate. Frame rate, you're going to want to use a fraction. So frame rate equals 30 divided by one. And then slow things down. I put a Q there again, an element. And then here is the video convert um, element. And these are plugins, this right here, the video convert. And then finally the app sync, okay? And then make sure you close it off uh, again. And then down here, um, while the cap dot is open, so we're checking to see if the pipeline's open, and then it's going to, uh, it's going to accept two values, this cap dot read and the first the first one on the left hand side is a boolean and that's true or false and then here is the frame we're setting the each 
frame in the video is going to this frame right here, okay? And then if RET, if this right here is true, then cv2.imshow, we want to show the window, so we're going to open up a window, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pipe in the frame, okay, which is this up here, this frame here. And then later on, if the cv2.wait key, and this is 25 milliseconds, and then uh, this is, if it's a ordinal, this is an ordinal here, it's an accident, uh, ordinal value for Q, and you need to put ORD right there in front of this. And then, um, so if I push the Q um, key on the keyboard, it's gonna stop. And then um, it's gonna break if I do. And then otherwise it, it's gonna break. And then you wanna close everything off down here. You wanna close off your cap. So you want a pipeline, you want that closed. And then you wanna destroy all the windows here. Okay, so there it is. Here's the magic right here. And then if I go up here and just make sure that everything is saved and boom, that was fast. That was really fast. So there you have it. I'm not gonna spend any more time. Um, I'm reading the documentation over at the website on GStreamer. I've got a lot of really interesting um, ways to simplify the way that they teach the pipeline. Um, and uh, so, um, I'm understanding a lot more and I uh, hope you uh, understand this. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please get them to me. And uh, if you got any value, please like help the channel here. Okay. All right, man. See you next time.